Hey everybody, <laughs> when was the last time we did one of these? I recently went to an Asian grocery shop to stock up on my favourites and I was delighted to find two new ones of these. That's right, two. So today we're doing one, we'll do the next one shortly. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you'll remember that I made these pop and cook and Japanese candy kits a long time ago. I've made like little burgers, little donuts, little sushi. Today we are making pop and cooking Tanoshi Wafuru san, tiny waffles out of candy. What's really cool now is if you get these, obviously all the instructions are in Japanese, but this has a QR code on the back which provides you a translation. Boom, translation to a bunch of different languages. Very convenient. So this here makes two custard waffle, <laughs> two custard waffles, one cocoa waffle, and it has blueberry sauce and cranberry and crushed berry. Oh, crushed, crushed berries? Sweeka cream, melon sauce. Neru ne, stir it up. Neru 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 ne. That's right, I used to speak Japanese. I've forgotten pretty much all of it. To get a slightly awkward angle. Oh, Ooh, that smells yummy. So I guess these must be the custard powders and the cocoa powder. This must be, I'm just judging by the colors yet, watermelon cream powder, cranberry jelly powder. What's this? Blueberry sauce powder, sprinkles, a tiny piping bag, and a tiny spoon, a tray with all the wee molds in it. Oops, I, oh, bugger. Off to a good start. I just tore the wrapper that we're supposed to use as a wee plate. Oh my gosh, I hope I do this right. Don't fuck it up. Why cranberries and watermelon cream? Blueberries I can understand, but why cranberries and watermelon? Are those like standard waffle toppings? Well, if I've done it wrong, we'll certainly see, won't we? Step one. First we take one of these. Oop, and put one of those in there. I love custard. You know what's funny about custard? If you go to like a flash restaurant and they're selling creme anglaise, like that's just custard, but in French. English cream <laughs> to make something sound fancier than it is. It says stir until all the powder is gone because it doesn't seem to be mixing very well. Come on, real waffles would be easier to make than this, I think. Just dribble. Is that gonna help? You know, these are for children, right? So you'd think, oh, they're probably quite easy, but they are quite also easy to mess up. Now we take this stuff, knead it into a bowl. Mmm, it smells very, well, it smells extremely artificial, <laughs> but I'm sure it tastes lovely. There's our little waffle mold, there's our little tiny ball of dough, and squish it, squish. Oh, it sort of worked, sort of. It looks waffly, but it didn't quite make the heart shape. I'll try that again. I don't think that one's gonna get any better than that, but you know, it still resembles a waffle, so that's nice. We do a second one of those. Put the water in first this time. Does this count as ASMR? I don't understand ASMR anyway, so. Again, this doesn't seem like enough water. I'm gonna triple in a tiny bit more. That's probably utterly ruined it now by adding a drop too much, because this stuff is science. It's science that we're doing for the good of humanity. These products, to me, are really the epitome of what sweets are for. They're completely non-nutritious. All they do is just provide happiness. They just provide a little bit of joy. And these little kits just extend that joy. There's a ball on a waffle thing, a <laughs> waffle mold. Squish. Squish. Uh, what? It's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. I love how they managed to get the colors exactly right. Slightly sticky. Oh. Got it. Now we take a cocoa dough powder. I've noticed they've they've really started they've started putting lots of different languages on these things. It doesn't just have Japanese on it anymore. There's like lots of languages. People from many different countries are into these candy kits now. I wonder if everyone who does them are just children or adults, right? Have you ever done one of these? It smells good and chocolatey. I've been in chocolate for days. Oh, days. Maybe that's why it smells extra good, because I'm being deprived. 
rolling, rolling, rolling. This is such an awkward angle to film on. I knew I should have sat on the floor. Ready to make waffle number three? <gasps> the moment is upon us. Squash. How did it turn out? Chocolatey. They're not perfectly heart shaped, but I don't really care. They still look very good. This is the packet that it came in that I laid out flat and tore. So you see, it's got like a little plate. <laughs> so I'm going to put those to one side. Right, what's the next step? Add a cup of water to this part of the tray now. Now the red stuff, cranberry jelly powder. Again, one cranberry. Ever had a raw cranberry? They are so horrible. I love cranberries, right? I love cranberry sauce. It's like one of the condiments I always have in my house. And here, mix it till it gets syrupy. Because I like cranberry sauce so much, I thought that I would try some just fresh raw cranberries. Oh my god, they're so unbelievably sour. You can barely eat them, they're so horrible. So we stir this until it gets syrupy, which I guess it's sort of doing. It says it goes, goes completely firm in about 10 minutes. There's tiny little berry molds. Try not to spill that. Little berry shaped molds there. So we take very carefully. Oops. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. A bit messy. Oh, I can, there we go. Fill up the little molds. That sort of looks alright, doesn't it? And then we leave the rest of it in there to go Firm. Make watermelon cream. Add two cups of water. Oh, to the big tray again. One. Oops, spilt some. I'm so unco. <laughs> two to make up for the wee dribble. Sweet cut cream watermelon cream powder. Am I imagining it or like on this camera? I feel like my freckles look so extra obvious. <laughs> they look so bright and dark. Why watermelon cream? In cranberries, it's so random. Is it random? In Japan, is that what you put on waffles? Well, these things are science, so perhaps there's a science to the flavour of it. Okay, we've made our watermelon cream, now we make blueberry sauce. Remove the now firm red jelly. Ooh. Oh, I hate melon. Is that jelly firm? Oh, it is. Ooh. This looks like an anemic blood clot. One cup of water. I'm just looking forward to assembling them actually, putting all the decorations on the waffles. Bitty. So this makes like a liquidy one. I think this is the one that goes in the wee piping bag. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh no, we spilled a bit. And we spilled some into our watermelon cream. Gotta be so careful. Fold down top of squeezing bag. Okay. I know my way around a piping bag, so this one is rather small. Spoon this in here, for <laughs> what I didn't spill a bit. Cut up the jelly, decorate your waffles however you'd like with berries, crushed jellies, cream sauce and sprinkles. Okay, so basically we just mush this blob up to its crushed berries. Squeeze this stuff on, add sprinkles. I guess you can decorate them how they are decorated on the box or just do whatever you like. Let's give it a hoon. It's sad that they didn't come out this like really pleasing heart shape, but crush this up into bits because it's crushed berries, even though it's exactly the same thing as the non-crushed berries. Sprinkles as well with little hearts and things on them. So sweet. Let's just go at random. Put on the Watermelon cream. <laughs> yeah. Bloop. I'll just I'll do like what's kind kind of like what's on the box. Making so much mess. So I don't like melon at all. But I do like that watermelon bubble gum, watermelon candy. I like that artificial flavored watermelon. But these these things taste like what they're meant to taste like. It tastes like actual melon. Bleh. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just smearing it. Let's decorate the plate with a bit of our watermelon cream. Let's get creative here. Restaurant quality. Let's pop out these teeny weeny berries and see how they turned out. Oh look at this teeny weeny thing. I'll find a link online by the way. Like I will go and look <laughs> for you. You can get this online. I buy mine from the Asian grocers but not everywhere has Asian grocery shops. Let's just decorate the plate with this crushed berries. Here we go. Wow, it's an absolute freaking masterpiece. I'm gonna snip the corner off our blueberry sauce. Squeezy squeezy. Oh, this is much easier to control. I'll just squeeze some of that on there. 
like so, <laughs> very badly. Have a little bit of everything. Do a little decorative blob. I swear to God, when I decorate cakes, they tend to look quite good. I, well, people say so, they might just be being nice. This is not really up to my usual standard. Sprinkles! Some sprinkles on that one. Oh, lovely. Sprinkles on that one. Sprinkles on that one. Sprinkles in the corner. The corners you kind of have corners on a round thing. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Oh my gosh, what an absolute work of art. Wow. Look at that. Doesn't that look appealing? Ba <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this looks so great. Expectation versus reality. <laughs> Woohoo! Hey, it's not that bad, really. Okay, it, it, I mean, it's obviously not as neat, but I'm sure it'll taste just the same. Thank you, Japan, for making these things. The only thing that's left to do is to taste them. <laughs> but I tried to make, like, a bit of variety. So we'll start off with a custard one that's got a bit of, it's got a bit of everything on it. It's got quite a lot of watermelon cream on it. Let's go. Mm -hmm. What a funny texture. It's chewy, kind of doughy, but kind of gummy at the same time. It's like gummy dough. It's very nice, apart from the melon cream, which I don't particularly like, but everything else is good. So much work just for a wee mouthful. <laughs> this whole experience is just for the, the joy of making it. The actual eating of it takes like a second, but you feel so much more proud and it's more exciting because you made it. Like, you made it. It will never be the same twice. So let's try the chocolate one with the, uh, with the, with the melon cream on it and some little cranberries. Mmm, chocolate. <laughs> I could almost bypass the melon for that. It's such a random combination of tastes, but it's, it's, it's good. And now I feel all proud because I made it. <laughs> this one's got no melon cream on it, so I'll probably, that's why I saved it for last. I'll enjoy it the most and keep the good taste in my mouth. Custard waffle, blueberry syrup. I love blueberry syrup. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's nice. It's lovely. Again, it's such a weird texture. It's not bad. It's just odd. Gummy dough. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Hope you've enjoyed doing this with me. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have and as much as I am enjoying eating it right now. Mm. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Go to see it. <laughs> and as always, take care of yourself, be nice to each other, stay sweet, and I'll see you next time. Bye!